Welcome to the Joy of Photography and this week we have another portrait taken by my son Elliot and uh, this one was during a trip to London so let's just get it up on the screen let's just uh, start with uh, a little bit of cropping this was taken on film on Kodak T Max and uh, with a an old I think it's 1981 um, series one Mamiya 645 uh, 120 mil film and uh, 645 uh, format so unlike the square format you normally get with two and a quarter squares this gives you a I think it's a four by three ratio um, anyhow it gives you 15 images on a film and not 12 so I'm just straightening this image up it's a lovely image I just love the look he's created on this now I'm going into lens correction into custom because there is some um, converging on the vertical so I'm just going to uh, just mess with the vertical plane here and just square those up just because the door frame is so near to the camera you can absolutely see it it's obvious but I square that up and we'll soon correct that and uh, once that's done we're okay it and we have to flatten that image and because it does make uh, a new layer so down to flatten image and now we've got those verticals nice and straight with the doorway uh, let's put a little unsharp mask on there only because uh, the limitations of the scan uh, no I don't think it needs it <laughs> actually looking at it uh, I think a smart sharpen will be better yeah the smart sharpen is just dinking in and just the areas that uh, it knows it looks for faces and eyes and things and just um, crisp lines so first of all let's get some uh, dodging done so let's start working on some areas where we want to pick the light up um, in black and white you're always going to have areas that um, that soak up light and areas that bounce lots of light off and sometimes you just need to equal those areas maybe they were just under a canopy or something and uh, and so there's lots of light down here at the bottom not quite so much light here at the top that's beautiful we'll just do that and get that nice and uh, equal and we'll start uh, with a burn and yeah that's just how we want to get it so now I'm going to turn my attention to this door frame here, the one nearest the camera, because it's painted white. It's very overexposed. So I've cut that out and I'm just going to bring the mid tones down and get it a little bit more gritty. Uh, and just so that, can you see how they're popping in the middle now? Your eye's not drawn to that right hand side anymore. Your eye's drawn to the middle now because the sides are more balanced. Well, I'm just going to balance this side out here as well and just to, mm, don't want it too dark i still want some detail in it but i think what we need to do is, is stop the eye going to that woman reading her book there um so we'll just take some of the whites down and i think we need to blur it. i think we need to put a little blur on that so i'm going to cut that out again a little bit more on the black area there cut it out give it a feather and oh I'm going to actually take these really light areas because I'm going to take the whole thing a little bit lighter, uh, this background. And so I don't want to take that arm up. And so we'll feather now. So what I've done essentially is chosen the area, but I've taken away that arm. And I can now lift with levels all the rest of the picture. Uh, and I'm just not lifting the arm at all. That's it. Now it's more balanced, you see. We, I, I think they are under a canopy, you know, because that's gone really dark as well. Um, and so we've lifted the shadows there and balanced it out but I do think if I cut out really carefully around this now no more carefully than that Philip that's it and I've got my well while I'm cutting this out I've got my hand down on the um, on the alt key on the option key and that means that it's uh, cutting out in straight lines look and uh, I don't need to feather that I'm just going to put a Gaussian blur on there we go little Gaussian blur not too much just to drop it out of focus slightly because I want to pull the viewer in to those uh, those women standing in the middle they've got such a strong pose such good eye contact with the viewer uh, I want everything to be focused on them I'm just going to get the dodge tool and just do a little bit of work on the door I want, and some of the door he's getting a little bit um, sort of lost so these signs here they're really 
good part of the picture and there we go over into that detail and above as well that's better we've got a little bit of light coming in for whatever it is that's stopping that light falling in we're bringing it back in and just painting carefully and just getting that door so it frames the picture you know they're both in a door frame now that's much nicer isn't it that's much nicer that's it just do a little work on those shadows what a huge difference that makes just bringing that door frame in it, it gives us a really nice kind of feel to the picture that they're they're leaning in that door frame and it's it's, it's very linear isn't it the person reading is still too dominant. I'm, just, I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to cut this out and feather it a little bit. And I'm going to take those whites down and levels. So let's get levels up at the very bottom. Look, I'm going to gray those whites out. That's it. Make it look a little bit more sort of underexposed. That's nice. You see, we haven't just made it darker. We've just taken the whites down. So they're not so prominent in the picture. I'm going to recrop. I'm just going to leave that P in, just in the bottom right hand corner. And it's kind of intriguing then, isn't it? You kind of think, what does that say? And you've no idea. It's it's just one of those lovely pictures that, that he's taken where there's so much happening, uh, you know, in one image. It's um, it's really, really is uh, good. I'm just going to lift the tones here on this side, feather that on that side, just gently gently lift not too much oh no that's too much too much go back 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 bring them back in with the mid tones i need it to balance on the right you see the woman on the right has got a really sort of contrasty look and i need that to be the same uh, to the woman on the left and uh, and that's a bit she's a bit soft and it, at the moment it's just kicking against each other i need them to be slightly more balanced but it's it's just that sort of face and logo and necklace really that that's all it is i'm that's just that's ah, better you see it's just there that's just kick a bit more contrast in yeah bang on that's better now just get the dodge tool and put a few more shadow details on that left hand side of the door Equal it out, yeah, that's nice. And the bottom bit and the handle in particular. Look there. You see, you don't want anything jumping out but the subjects. That's much nicer balance, much nicer. So all that's left to do is put a uh, black line around to simulate our negative and uh, increase the canvas size with some white space so we can make it look a bit more have a finished image the kind of thing we're going to see on a gallery wall let's have a look that's better there and should we crop that 16.9 so it fits on the screen you're looking at perfectly 16.9 just edge it in both sides da, 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 da. oh that's just about perfect so that should be the whole of your screen I'm still not convinced we can't go a bit sharper with this. Uh, let's just put a sharp and an unsharp mask on. Oh uh, yeah, that's better, isn't it? Let's edge it up. Because it doesn't so matter so much about the noise on these black and white film pictures because it just appears as grey. It's great. We can really ratchet that up a little bit. Now, let's have a look. That's it, popping. Fantastic. I'm really pleased with that picture. Elliot. Well done. That's a great, great portrait. Stand back and admire it. Actually, when you stand back, you can often see something which you're still not quite pleased with. And that, that column on the right hand side there, I'm still where the P is. I still think that's a bit too bright. It doesn't marry up with the rest of the picture. So if I get the uh, lasso tool and I'm careful on that black frame that I've put, and we've got black both sides of it. So let's just come down there carefully around. And I don't think we need to feather it. And we can just get levels up. Take that down a bit. Go on. Oh, that's better. Not too much. Too light. Down a bit. Down a bit. A bit more. Oh, that's it. That's the grey we want. And now our subjects are popping. Absolute classic. Love it. Thank you, Elliot, for coming and saving the day with that great uh, street uh, photography portrait. 
And these weren't people that he knew, by the way. He was out in London and, you know, he stopped people and said, look, you know, I really like the, the look here. I'm a photographer. Would you mind if I took a picture? And you know what? Virtually everybody in London that he stopped and asked to take a picture of uh, said, yes, they didn't mind. You know what? People are so great aren't they people are so helpful they are so welcoming generally they they say yes and um this is a lovely picture that he's got from that trip and um thank you to these uh, to these women for agreeing to have their picture taken and allowing us to see this really really nice shot i hope you've enjoyed the joy of photography this week next week we've got another of elliot's uh, pictures uh, another great portrait from the london trip i'm enjoying doing these so uh, i'm not going to apologize about that see you next week